Now the next trip down the court on the other end in this G League game, we have the um, entry pass going to be passed in from number 15 in the white. And there it goes to um, the big guy down low. This official here, she's right on the play. Got a good look at it. And so when he gathers the ball, a player may gain control of the ball with both feet on the floor, one foot on the floor, no feet on the floor. In this case, when he gains control of the ball, control is holding or dribbling, and there's two hands together, we'll give it to him right there. So he's got both feet on the floor. And I see the right foot spinning so the right foot's gonna go around and move it on the right. So now we know the left foot is the pivot foot. And this is just as easy to see at regular speed, which I did, of course, uh, as it is in slow motion, to exaggerate a little. But you must know the pivot foot or you cannot make accurate rulings regarding traveling. So the left foot's the pivot foot, his left foot. You know that's the case because his right one's moving. The rule says if he picks up the pivot foot, puts it back to the floor while still holding a live ball in bounds, it's traveling. Well, he actually started a dribble there uh, by lifting the pivot foot, so, that, so that's travel one. But we'll give him that one. They're going to give him both of them or all three of them, whatever the case might be. Now his um, right foot is his pivot foot. I mean, his left one, and now he's going to, jump up, spin around, put the right one back down. He's going to put them both back down. So even if you weren't sure which foot is the pivot foot, you can just know he traveled because both feet came back to the floor after he gave up the dribble. And what happens on this situation here is he goes up and gets fouled and gets some free throws, etc. But the official uh, on this play here she does a good job of not guessing what that there's contact on the other side of the player. She's kind of straight line and she never moved. But anyway, she does not have a foul, which is, I think, very good officiating because she's guessing. But the official across the court um, in the uh, center position, he has the foul over there. Okay. And then the big guy goes to the line and shoots free throws. We affect ball games and sometimes think we're doing a great job. And all we're doing is, you know, we're forgetting there's two teams out there to consider. Every time we make a ruling with or without a whistle, both teams are effective. They're affected one way or the other. 